What is up you guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're rolling on a bit of a budget because today we're gonna to be testing out Poundland makeup. Now some of you may be getting a little bit of deja vu because I have actually done this in the past way back in the past, I'm talking like two years ago maybe. All you OG subscribers out there will know that a lot has changed. I do my makeup a lot differently to how I used to do it. I was a lot more natural back in the day, a lot more natural. So yeah, I thought we could just see how we get on, see if we can create a full glam look and see if any of this stuff is actually any good. So let's get into the video. So it just dawned on me that maybe not all of you watching this are actually from the UK. So I'm just gonna give like a little rundown of what Poundland is. It's pretty simple really. Basically everything in Poundland costs a pound. So for some of you guys, like you have dollar stores and things like that, it's kind of our answer to a dollar store. So yeah, today everything that I'm gonna be putting on my face costs a pound, whether it's powders, highlighters, false lashes, Everything costs a pound. So I've already moisturized and primed my skin. So first of all, I'm gonna go straight in with foundation. This is the gorgeous, flawless, long lasting foundation. And this one is in the shade Golden Sand. Okay, it's quite, it's very, kind of looks like poop. Kind of looks like two little turds on the end of my brush there, but okay. So this to me is the interesting bit because I feel like a lot of the times you can do powders pretty good on the cheap. Like for example, Makeup Revolution. MUA, a lot of their products are good, like their highlights and everything. Foundations are the trickier one to do, I would say. So this is gonna be interesting. Okay, first of all, the colors, the colors all right, that's a good start. It's a, it's, a, it's a bit orange. It's a bit orange, but we can, it's, yeah, it's, wow, that's, oh my God. Oh, mm, mm, it's oxidizing as well. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, the coverage is all right. Oh my God, that is, no. Am I cheating if I lighten this a little bit? Guys, can I please lighten this foundation a little bit? <laughs> Help, guys. <sighs> I'm gonna go and get a foundation lightener. Cause we can't be dealing with this. Like this needs to be, something needs to be done here. My concealer definitely isn't light enough to sort that out. Right, be right back. I'm gonna go get a foundation lightener and we're gonna see if we can, I don't even know. It's just getting more and more orange. Um, you know what, I'm actually gonna go straight on my face with the lightener. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to do that for a minute just to see if we can lighten it up a bit. Cause this is just a joke. Oh, now I just look ashy as shit. I think it's safe to say I went too dark. Just going out on a limb here and saying that maybe, just maybe, the foundation I picked was too dark for me. But the coverage, I'm like, I'm actually quite impressed by the coverage. It's weird because it looks very oily on the skin, but it also looks very powdery. If I'm being completely honest, if we just take the color completely out of the equation for a second, for this to cost a pound, it's not the worst foundation I've ever tried. It's Definitely not the best. Definitely like, I'm not gonna be using this again, probably. Um, but, but I mean, if you were really on a budget, because I mean, let's face it, not everyone wants to spend like, first of all, not everyone wants to spend like 40 quid on a foundation, but then again, not everyone wants to spend like seven pounds on a foundation, because that's still like an hour's wage for a lot of people. You gotta work an hour just for a bottle of beige stuff. Like, for a pound, for a pound it's okay. Color aside, color is awful on me, but coverage is okay. If I don't think about the price, then I'm like, ooh, it's like, it is a bit cakey looking. It's also oily. It's also kind of like powdery and dry looking, but I've definitely had worse foundations in testing videos before. Like the one that comes to my mind is a natural collection one. That one is like three pounds, I think. And it's a lot worse than this one. This one doesn't look too streaky or anything. It does blend out a lot better than that. But I mean, come on, for like four a pound. I don't wanna be like, you know what, for a pound guys, this is great, you should go and get it because it's not a great foundation. Would not really recommend, but it's better than the natural collection one. But in honesty, I'm, I was thinking it was gonna be a lot worse. So I'm actually oddly impressed by that. So then for concealer, I have this guy. I do not generally like concealer sticks, but I'll try it out. So this is the Hide and Chic Concealer Natural Coverage. 
mine just fell out onto my lap. Um, okay, let's just put that, put that back in there. The color I have, by the way, is in the shade Natural Beige 2. Thankfully, that looks light enough. It's creamy-ish, kind of creamy, creamy enough. If you warm it up, then it does go onto the skin a lot better. I'm just gonna go over my eyes like a little primer or something like that. And I'm actually gonna blend it in with my fingers. It's definitely brightened my under eyes a little bit. I wouldn't say it's given me much coverage. It has covered it up a little bit more, um, but nothing major. I don't like these kind of sticks. I would much prefer it if it was in like a little pot or something, if they like melt it down and put it in a little pot, that would probably be a lot better for me. But again, not as bad as I was thinking. It's okay, again, it's hard for me to kind of review it because it's so cheap in comparison to even some of my, my favorite drugstore products that it's like, can I really knock it considering it's a quid? Can't really knock it too much. I guess I'm gonna have to try and keep like an open mind with a lot of these products because are they gonna be the best in the world? Chances are probably not because they are a pound, but is this worth a pound? Yeah, I would say so. It's not like a waste of your money if you buy this or anything. Quite impressed by that. So next we're gonna powder everything down. This is the Smoothly Does It Pressed Powder in the translucent shade. So this looks like that, good pan size. Okay, it doesn't look fully translucent, but okay, it does when you kind of blend it out. But if you swatch it, it does have more of like a slightly more yellow tone to it, which doesn't bother me. I'm just gonna tap that under my eyes. Okay, it's already a little bit cakey, but it's not the worst. I think it's probably better to use a lighter hand with this because I think if you do like full on, like cake it on, it is gonna look caked on. Like yeah, around my nose and everything, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look amazing. Oh, we're looking a little bit patchy just here. Don't know where that kind of came from. I've got to say that you guys like, I've definitely had worse. It does look cakey, but yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely had worse. And I feel like actually this powder's kind of lightened my face up a little bit. So I'm not actually mad at this powder at all. So next I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. So I have the All About That Brow Eyebrow Kit. This one, I think they just have one, like kind of like a one size fits all, um, but it has four different shades. So you've got like a lighter shimmery color, a kind of lighter brown, a warmer brown and then kind of a black. So I think I'm just gonna like, so I think I'm just gonna kind of mix those three together. Let me see what this little shimmery shade is like. Bit chalky, but it's glowy. So maybe I'll put that on my brow bone, but I'm just gonna run that through my brows. That color's okay. Yeah, that color's all right. It's actually a super speedy brow. Like it's not the most like structured brow I've ever done, but it's okay. But I think what I'm actually gonna do, there it is is just take some Fix Plus and like wet a little angle brush. Create kind of like a pomade. Can we do that? Is that a thing? Oh, here we go, boys and girls. That actually works really well wet. By the way, I'm also thinking about doing like how I did with my Primark brushes video, a Poundland one. So let me know if you want me to do like a testing Poundland makeup brush video where I just do like a regular makeup look where I know all the products, but with Poundland brushes. Do you guys want that? Do you want it? So next we're gonna do some contouring. I have two different bronzers, but I think they're maybe the same. Maybe this one's a little bit more cool tone. So this is the contour kit in the shade medium two. Comes with a cream blusher, which you know I'm not too interested in, and it also has a contouring shade. And then we have the matte medium two bronzer, which looks like this. So you can see the colors are, the colors are pretty similar, I'd say if not identical, maybe this one is a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this, see if it is actually any different. Maybe if I swatch the two. So this finger is the contouring powder, this finger is the bronzer. Oh, you know what? They actually do look different. This one is just kind of like a bit more lighter, I guess. But yeah, I guess it is a little bit more cool toned. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that on an angle brush and, oh, that's quite pigmented. Just sculpt out these cheeky bones. Wait a minute, does that actually look kind of great? Hang on. Okay, no. Viewfinder, it looks, it, looks, it looks pretty good. But yeah, we definitely need to blend that in more. 
Again, it's always tricky to do these kind of videos because obviously if the foundation isn't quite there, then it's gonna be a little bit trickier to judge how like the powders and everything look on top. But despite all of that, like it actually looks, it actually looks decent, even over the top of the not so amazing foundation. I actually think that's pretty good. The pan is tiny. Um, obviously, I know you obviously do get two different pans, but I would much rather if they just had this in this pan, I could maybe even like depot it or something. Uh, but that's okay. That's actually not bad at all. So then we're gonna take the bronzer and my F42 brush. Let's see how this applies. Yeah, this one definitely is a bit more warm. If you did go a bit heavy handed with it, then you would, you would look a bit orange, but like the quality of the powder is actually pretty decent. Like pigmented, but not like overly, overly pigmented. Cause sometimes I can find that you can have like cheap makeup, but it's literally just like, I don't know, like the most pigmented powder on earth. But this, yeah, I'm actually quite impressed by these. So now it's time to see what Poundland highlighters are all about. So this is what it looks like. Not my usual color, but right now I'll kind of take whatever I can get. This is the Pearl Shimmer Highlighter. Okay, it has got a sheen to it. I was thinking it just kind of looks like nothing. It's got a sheen. Like it's just there. It's not that one. That one was the um, brow highlight, but actually we could kind of use the both of them. So I'm just gonna take my Luxe Powder Fusion brush. This has a lot of fallout, but again, not bothered right now. We're gonna see what this looks like. Uh, there's a little shine, there's like... One moment, please. That's actually quite nice. Again, I'm not like... You guys know me, whenever I apply highlighter, I'm like, <sighs> like I've never seen highlighter before. Out of all the highlighters that I have, it's definitely not the best, but hang on a goddamn minute, because it's not leaving too much of a cast. You turn your head, catches the light nicely. Obviously I am applying quite a bit, so it does look a little bit textured on my skin, but nothing crazy. This is actually okay. I am oddly impressed by a lot of this makeup. So then I'm gonna quickly take this eyeshadow quad I'm gonna use on my eyes in a second, but I've got this like champagne-y, champagne shade. It looks like this. Like, look at that. That actually looks pretty promising. So I'm gonna take some of that on a brush and I wanna see if this can do anything. Hell yeah, it can. That's nice. Like, yeah, you can see a few of my spots here and yeah, maybe like not matching the rest of my body, but <laughs> when am I? But this, this doesn't look like, how how high are we up to at the moment? Three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds. Seven pounds worth of product on my face right now and we're like, we're getting there. So I'm then just gonna use the same brush that I used for my nose and I'm gonna take some of that shimmering powder from the brow kit and, oh my God, that is so, like that is like white, it's like silver. Oh yeah, that is really icy. If you're super fair, I know it's like not a very big pan to kind of stick your brush in, but but hey, it shows shows you can make it work. Might not be the best, but you can make this work. So then I have a blush. This is the Feeling Blush Blusher in the shade Coral Rose. Looks like that. Looks nice. A little bit, little bit chalky, but we'll give it a go. Pop that on my cheeks. Just using the same brush that I used for my bronzer. I always do that because I find it kind of blends everything better. Okay, this isn't that pigmented, but build it up. There we go. Just kind of like brought it all together a little bit more. So next we'll move on to eyes. So like I said, I have this guy here, this little duo. So these are two different shimmers. We've got the champagne-y kind of golden -y bronze shade that we used as a highlighter. And then we've got this like chocolatey metallic shade, which I mean chalky, yeah, but pretty pigmented. And then I'll just show you guys that more like golden one here. And then I also thought I could use, there we go, use my matte bronzer like in my crease, maybe even use a few colors from my um, brow palette. So I'm gonna take my pressed powder and just go back over the lids and then swirl a fluffy brush in my matte bronzer. You could probably even just like, just use this on its own. Yeah, that's fine. That's like blended out, no problem. You know what? Might even take a little bit of this shade here from the brow palette and just pop that kind of on the outer corner a bit more. 
the outer corner of the crease. Okay, that's not blending out as easy. Like you can see it has like left a little mark, but I mean, it's, it's not really meant for your eyes. It's kind of meant for your brows, so we can't be mad at it for that. So then I'm just gonna take this shader brush and I'm gonna go in with that darker color here from the eyeshadow palette. And we'll see what this looks like. Tap off any excess, because I feel like that could have a bit of fallout. And we'll see, we'll see what this looks like. I'm gonna pop that on the edge corner. Okay, we have something. We have lift off. Not overly opaque, but it's there. We can definitely see it. This is actually working a lot better than I could have ever imagined. So I'm then just gonna take that champagne shade, which we already love for highlight, and get that cat hair off my brush, and pop that on the inner corner. And then I'll take that matte bronzer again and just run that on the lower lash line. It seems, okay, it's a little bit warmer than what I maybe want. So I'm actually gonna go with this guy here from the um, brow palette and see if we can like cool that down a bit. There we go, much better. Yeah, these, these eyebrow powders are like super pigmented. Guys, I thought, guys, I thought we were a goner when we did that foundation, but We've brought it back and I'm actually kind of feeling this look. So now we'll move on to mascara. I think they had two different mascaras. Don't quote me on it, but I think they did. This is the Turn Up The Volume and Define Mascara in the shade Black 2. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, something is happening here. I feel like there's not that much product on the brush, so I am kind of having to go in multiple times. But I'm sorry. Is this not like looking pretty decent? This looks all right. I'm not like dying over this mascara. Like it's not, it's not the best in the world. But again, I have definitely, definitely tried worse mascaras that cost a lot more money than this. So next we'll move on to lashes. Some of you may recognize these because I have actually done a video featuring these lashes where I did like that viral lash hack where you basically spoolie the crap out of your lashes and it makes them look a whole lot more like wispy and a bit more expensive and it does work. So I'm gonna be using these lashes again. These obviously do cost a pound. You get two pairs in them. Obviously I have already used one. So these technically cost you 50p for a set of lashes, which is insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and spoolie the crap out of these lashes, do the other eye and then we'll pop these on together. All right, so eyeshadow and mascara is on. So I've already glued up the lashes. I did cut quite a bit off. As you can see, don't drop that quite a bit off, so I'm kind of like doing corner lashes today. They should be about there. So I did fluff these up with my spoolie, like I said, and they're not like the best lashes, but I mean, 50p, again, you really cannot go wrong. Okay. They're not looking amazing, but they look, they look passable. They don't look too bad, especially if, if we grab some more mascara as well and just kind of blend them in a bit better. So then last but not least, it's a product that I'm pretty excited about using again because I do actually remember that this was pretty good. It is the Pout Matters Matte Lip Color and I got the shade Cherry Pop. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, these are pretty much identical to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Even down to the smell, it's literally the same. So this just looks like that. Yeah, it's so bloody similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my lips. So you can see they're super pigmented. All right, guys, I think we're done. Full face of Poundland makeup. I think we smashed it. So you guys, let me know what you think of this look in the comment section down below. Do you think it looks like Poundland makeup? Do you think it looks like crap? Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up because that really does help me out a lot. And subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.